Main event. Yuri Prohaska's back after about an 18-month layoff. Yeah. Um, to fight Alex Pereira. Alex 8-2. and two, Obviously, only had a couple of fights in the UFC, but pff, what he's done in six fights. I was looking at it the other day. He's beaten three, four more current champions mm. in his last six fights. Yeah. That's mental. Held... Did he get an inter? He didn't get an interim belt against um, Jan. Uh, yeah, no. No, so so now he's fighting for a second. One belt, fighting for a second belt now. It's crazy, dude. Um, Yuri Praska, okay, 29-3-1, 13 fight win streak, but one and a half years off. What do you make of this fight? Like, what do you think is? Um, I Poeton, Poeton. Why? What do you? What is your? Give us your analysis. Okay. Okay. So yeah, you, yeah. 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 How so, do you? How do you see this one playing out? I think so. It was a split decision win against Blahovic, but I think he did really well. I think that the, him being longer at this weight is going to be good for him. I think he's going to be more comfortable at it. Mm-hmm. I think that he wasn't that big for Blahovic. I mean, he he was big, but I think he's going to be able to put on more size. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that that that's going to be a huge advantage for him. And mm-hmm. then also, um, poor Yuri, like. He's gonna have ring sting, ring ring rust. <laughs> Sorry, uh, he's gonna have ring rust, and also him winning uh, Glover. So his last fight, he was losing. Like he was losing up until that fifth round. I like that, and mixed with what um, Alex Pereira must feel to like um, kind of revenge the loss. Yeah, obviously, mm. obviously, like very close teammate. I think that you know it. Yeah, I can't see this going the way of Yuri. Look, I mean, the big question obviously is how big will the ring rust be with Yuri? Yeah. But one thing with Yuri, he's not going to die trying. Uh, well, he's not going to. He's not going to die without trying. Excuse me. Yes. So you know, I, I, his key to victory is to try to sub him. I think and try to dominate him on the ground. Yeah. You know. Yes, and to get it to the ground. Get it to the ground. Look, and Pereira can get up. I mean, he would be able to get up. He's obviously just going to have trained grappling like all the time yeah. with Glover, and now having that intimate knowledge of Glover Teixeira having fought Yuri. But that being said, like Yuri beat, I mean, he held his own in the grappling exchanges against Teixeira. Yes, he was probably losing and he, he still ended up subbing him. At the end of the day, you've got to give it to him. Mm. But it was a year and a half ago. So like originally I was like, you know what? I'm going to go with Alex because, you know, the power, he looked decent against um, Jan. But I still think he's uh, he's like, we, he's still an unknown, fairly unknown entity at light heavyweight. Mm. You know, Jan's one thing, fair enough. But like now you're going on a guy who's got a 13 fight win streak. I mean, Jan is a light heavyweight, but he could realistically, like if he really sucked down, go to middleweight. Maybe he can't anymore, but he used to be able to. And I don't know about Yuri, man. It's going to come down to how, how much the ring rust affects him. Yeah. And in a five round fight, I see Yuri not wanting to stand with him as much. Although you never know, he's a crazy dude, that guy. So, yeah. so I think, I, I'm going for, I think I said a sub for Yuri. Sub or unanimous decision. Yeah. But again, I mean, if Alex wins, won't shock me. A year and a half off is a long time. This is going to tell us how good Yuri Prohaska really was because people like John Jones have taken long layoffs. GSP have taken long layoffs. Yes, those are probably the two best great, two best fighters of all time. Yeah. But... A lot of people say ring rust is not real. I, I think it is real. And that's going to be the big determining factor. But I think Yuri's going to, he's not going to, not going to die trying. Mm. So, and die wondering. Mm. So, mm. Yuri, probably by sub. I also think range is going to be so important because mm. it's, it's, I mean, Alex is long, you know, like that range difference. I don't think Yuri, I mean, Yuri's also long, but just closing that range mm. and like those kicks to, to enter to close that range is going to be, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's it's gonna be an interesting fight. It's a really, really interesting fight. I mean, yeah. it could it could really go either way. Yeah, absolutely. But I think I think we mustn't look past the fact that Yuri's got Yuri's had thirty three fights. Mm. Pereira's at ten. But that that's the that's why I had Jan the last fight. That's because uh, yes, we did. Yeah. Both of us, I think, had that. Yeah. Yeah. But Jan's been on a bit of a backward spiral though lately. Like you know, Jan's also older. Yuri's young. Yuri's very mm. young. So he lost to um forgetting that he's the Russian, I forget his name. Ankalaev. Ankalaev. Yeah. Well he didn't lose, it was a draw, but oh, he, yes. he said he lost. But yeah. that's another one. Ankalaev has to go through this. Uh the way the universe has worked lately in the UFC, Ankalaev's gonna lose to Walker Johnny, just the way that spanners have been thrown in the works. 
And then Walker Johnny's going to be next probably for a title I fight. I hope not. And then Walker Johnny's going to win the title I next. I hope not. And then he's going to freaking, I mean, uh, just I, watch. I, he's going to go the Aljamain Sterling route. I hope Fake not. an injury, win a fight. Well, it was a no contest, but. I'm actually, the more, I mean, I, I'm actually. I'm such a an Uncle Iyer fan just because he does. You don't hear about him only when he's fighting. And yeah. Then, like even when he's doing it, he, it doesn't sound like he actually likes the press. He just likes to win. Yeah. Yeah. And he he Wins. dismantled Champion Dolce, who was yeah yeah his double champion here. It was like a beast. Still is a beast, but yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. So we got a couple of different picks. Um. So you going, you going with Alex? I'm going with Yuri. We're both going with Pavlovich. Yeah. Um. We're both going with Mackenzie Dern. You are going with Lopez. I'm going with Sabatini. Uh, I'm going with Benoit. You're going with Benoit or Frivola. Um, Benoit. Benoit. Okay, so we got Sabatini, Lopez, different. And we've got Yuri and Alex, different. Different, yeah. Could be a tie, but we'll come down to how accurate we were, right? So, yeah. So, if it's a tie, that's true. It could be a tie. So, we need to just remember what we said what the method was so we'll get a point for a win and then if you've won and you get the method of win that's another point yeah okay but you have to win you can't you can't you can't lose and say it's going to be a tko and then it's like a tko to the other guy and you get a point yeah okay yeah if it then still is equal then we have to go to the round okay yeah Fair sounds enough. good yeah. good Hey guys, if you enjoyed that clip, I've got another one for you over here and over here. Please don't forget to subscribe over here and have a look at my other socials down in the description box below. Thanks for watching.